We begin in Glory's light heavyweight division, Michael Dute and Donaghy Urbana. She's uh, the number one, right? And uh, yeah, I have to knock him out to get that uh, spot. I feel fairly confident, fairly relaxed. Uh, I know his nickname is the Dream Crusher, but he's, but he's not going to crush my dream. I know that. I will crush his dream. Uh, what he's going to bring, I don't care, because I have plan A, B, and C. And uh, I feel very good and I'm very calm. And he will remember me after Saturday, for real. Not only he, but the whole world will remember me. I'm gonna aim for the knockout, of course, and uh, I want to be the number one, and uh, I want that belt. I got more power than him. He's gonna get the impact of my punch. The whole arena's going to shake, earthquake. I already thought it, earthquake. Michael Dude! I knock people out. Oh, he likes out! It's over! We're going to knock him out also. Perfect! One shot knockout. I take it to the deep waters, yeah? This looks like he came straight off the street. Michael Duke, when the bell rings, comes at you, fist flying. There's no other way. It's not a sport. It's not a game. It's a fight. He made it look so easy. This is it. Left hook by two. He always wanted a nickname. I'm going to give him one. I'm going to call him the Dream Crusher. Ten of his 12 glory bouts have ended inside the distance, including a third round knockout in Amsterdam at Glory 59. Here comes Michael Dude. There comes everybody's favorite fighter. What's not to love? Do or die, kill or be killed. That's Michael Duke. Yeah, he's going to come in there, and he's really frustrated that he's ranked number four. He feels he should be the number one ranked, and his goal for this year is to really get in there and get a nice title shot. I think the only thing I know what to do. It's hard that hook to the liver and going downstairs and those hurt him. Where do you rate yourself? I rank myself number one. Well, he doesn't lack confidence, that's for sure. What for the belt? For real, huh? This Surinamese big man made a successful debut in Lyon last October. Please welcome Donaghy Abena. <laughs> Michael Dude all business. Donaghy Abena all smiles, Joe. He's the number one light heavyweight contender in the world. He believes with a win tonight, he's definitely getting a crack at Artem Bakitov. Yep, he's a good power puncher, so you're going to see him want to get in there. He's going to try to attack Dude's body and go upstairs. Had his first win at Glory 6 de Leon against Stefan Sasperigi. Looked good, seemed to fade slightly into that third round. So I know he's worked hard on his conditioning, is getting his weight down as early in camp as possible so he can focus on the fight. Here's our tail of the tape for our opening contest here from Glory 64, Strasbourg. Duke says he's in the prime of his career at 29 years old, but it will be Donaghy Abena who has a three and a half inch reach advantage. Professional experience, the edge goes to Michael Duke. KO power as well, going towards the Dutchman. Keys to glory for this bout is for Abena to really pressure with his boxing. Like he did in his debut, he needs to mix level, he needs to control his pace. Know that Michael Duke can go hard for all three rounds. 
where Michael Dute needs to use that experience, which comes with a little bit of patience and attacking when he's ready. He's got good counter punches, and this is a time for him to really mix, his, mix in his strikes, use his knees and his kicks. We are once again scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's light heavyweight division. Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the black corner. He was crowned contender tournament champion with two knockouts in one night at Glory 45. His professional record, 43 wins with 10 losses, 20 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Standing six feet, three inches tall, 1.91 meters. He weighed in at 208.3 pounds, 94.5 kilograms. Fighting out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Michael, the Dream Crusher Dude. His opponent fighting out of the white corner was runner up in Belgium in an eight man tournament last year. His professional record, 23 wins with just five losses. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet three and one half inches, 1.92 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 207 pounds, 93.9 kilos. He fights tonight out of Suriname. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Donaghy Abena. The third man inside the glory ropes, your referee is Tobias Gerald. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, you understand the rules you're fighting to. Respect my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Touch glove if you like. Yeah. Well, back to the corners. Yeah. Back Abena corners. did not want to back touch to gloves. To Dude judge. already in the zone. Judge. You can see it in his face, judge. Joe. Judge. Judge. Both you, gentlemen are ready to go. Ready? Fight! Michael Duke, the dream crusher in the black gloves. Abena, the number one contender in the white. Nice jab to start things out. For Abena. Michael Dude is dangerous right from the start to the end. His last fight against Murad Bouzidi, he was able to get a knockout with 10 seconds left in the fight. Ooh. Left hook just misses for Dude. Abena, born in Suriname, a former Dutch colony in South America. Tyrone Spong, Ernesto Hoost, Ismail Lant, Andy Risty, just a few of the names from that country. Dude being a little more patient than normal. Is that because he respects the power of Abena? Well, I think it's, it's his experience. He knows how dangerous Abena is with his power punches. So this is where the experience comes from. Stay long, mix his strikes, be patient. When he's ready, you'll see him explode. Just a matter of time. Oh, that right hand snapped Abena's head back a little bit as he was going in for a combination. You got to watch for Dude's counter punches as well. As Abena opens up, you'll see him really counter off. Dude, a 12 fight veteran in glory, Abena fighting in glory for just the second time. A lot of respect between the two. Duke going for the low kick. Body kick, Abena finally letting his hands go. He caught Dude as Dude was going for the counter shot. It looks like Abane is willing to eat those leg kicks, and once he feels the, the shin on his leg, he explodes. Yeah, Bane is known more for his power punches than his kicks and knees. <laughs> 45 seconds to go here in what has been, by their standards, a very slow first round. Even when you see Abena throw his left hand, his right hand's glued to his head. As he knows Dude's counter left hook is vicious, one of the best in the division. There it goes. Oh, 
Well, Dude is very good at dishing it out, not so good at taking it. His chin is a bit suspect. Pretty much either wins by KO or loses by KO. Pretty close round, and who knows, that last little right hand there might have swayed it towards a Vayner. Yeah, there wasn't really much happening in that round, so tough one for the judges. Donegue of Vayner, born in Suriname, now lives in Utrecht, Netherlands. 1-0 in glory after winning at Glory 60 Lyon. And as Joe mentioned, he's very heavy with his hands, likes the boxing game. His opponent, Glory veteran Michael Duke from the Netherlands, currently ranked number four, which he hopes to change after this fight. Known as the Dream Crusher. Four of his six Glory wins by knockout. And right now in his corner, he has kickboxing and MMA veteran Melvin Manhoff. Hey, there's Luis Tavares, the number three ranked light heavyweight in Glory. He told us earlier today he wants the winner of this fight. Come on. Yeah, that would be fun. Against either of the matchups, yeah. yeah. We do have open Fight. scoring tonight, so you'll see the official judges' scores, but I can tell you strikes landed in that round, both men with 16. Two judges gave it to Abena, three to Michael Duke. Just waiting for that one big shot to land for either of these guys. And you know, they fought that first round like neither man was trying to win on points. They were just kind of waiting each other out. And yeah, both known for their power punching. You're seeing Duke trying to set things up. We've seen him jab, try to go through the body, use his low kicks. But Obain is just waiting, ready to let go. Duke thinks he might have hurt him a little bit of beta with a clinch. Stop! Stop! It looks like there might be a slight cut Stop. under the right eye of Michael Duke. Perhaps that's why he's so much more aggressive now. Good level changes from Duke. That left hook is going to be the money punch for Duke. Keeps firing it. There it was again. Yeah, it's counter left hook, but. Abena just landed one. Counter right from Abena. First time we see Abena really attack the legs of Duke. Abena has some massive thighs. Oh, nice uppercut from Abena, but then the left hook lands. Abena's back against the ropes. Duke now walking forward. Let's see how Duke reacts here. Oh. Stop. Experience move Stop. from a banner to tie up. Second time, no holding. Take down the set. Fight. Both men landing Stop. some heavy shots here Stop. in round two. Let him away. Fight. That cut is starting to open up. And it's in a good place and won't affect the fight, thankfully. Good body punch, but that leaves Jude open. No knockdown. Fight. That could have gone either way. Yeah, that was close. The judge ruling that Dude hadn't established his feet back underneath him there. Yeah, as you kick and someone power punches, you fall back like that. So it's really scary for, for the judges to make that quick call. Or the referee, rather. Yeah, the referee, sir. Tobias Gerald, really experienced. But it wasn't really a damaging shot because Duke Stop. popped right back Let up. Yeah, that's why you have Let to get up go. right away. Let him go. Show the ref you're good. Second warning for Abena for clinching. You two call up. It's okay. Don't nag it. Higher. Time in. Fight. Another close round, Duke now bleeding, but he landed the heavier shot, which backed Abena up against the ropes. Yeah, Abena did land a beautiful uppercut. I mean, that's the shot to do, but Michael Dude ended up coming back and really finding the punch and ended up rocking Abena. Yeah, you can see Abena here with the uppercut. Boom, that lands, rocks the head, but Duke with that counter left hook. It's 
one of his best punches and one of his keys to this fight. You can see how hard they crashed the distance, but boom, perfectly timed uppercut, especially against that high guard defense that dude has, but Aban Abana needs to watch out for those counter shots. What do you think, Joe? Is that a knockdown? Well, it landed, but it wasn't as hard as it looked. Well, the hand did land, so... I mean, it wasn't an overly damaging shot. It was a shot that hurt, though. Well, it seemed like the first punch kind of put him off balance, and as he was going down, another shot was landing. Yeah. Tough call, but I wouldn't want the fight to be determined by something like that. Well, Abena didn't really argue. Let's see how the judges saw that second round. Three giving it to Duke, two to Abena. So as we look now at the totals, Dude up two to one, but it could go either way now here in the third round. The statistics virtually identical. A possible title shot on the line for the winner here, or maybe it's Luis Tavares. Is Abana now going to the kicks? Just missing with the right is Abana. We're approaching the two minute mark here in the third and final round. That mid range boxing is just so dangerous. You see them both open up every time. There could be a knockout every moment they crash the distance. Watch your head, guys. Watch your head. Not much behind those low kicks from Duke, almost like a range finder. Yeah, he probably wants to set up his hands off of it. Good uppercut lands there for a beta, and then a left hook from Duke. Best two punches in the fight came in round two, about two seconds after each other. Yeah, the well, uppercut from Abena, the left hook from Duke. Yeah, more blood coming. Is it from the nose of Duke now? Looks like some coming out of the mouth as well. As he just spit some at Abena. Yeah, Abena looks fresh as the daisy. Duke looks like he's been in 12 rounds of fighting. Well, that hurt him. Never count Michael Duke out. No matter what time of the fight it is, Michael Dude will find something. As I mentioned, his last fight, he finished it with 10 seconds left. Can he get, can he do the same tonight? A rare body kick from Dude, 30 seconds to go. This may have been Dude's best round, but Abena right in the thick of it. With 14 seconds left, one big shot could tilt the favor of the judges behind you. There's a lot of blood now coming from Duke. Abena with the left uppercut. Boy, it could really go either way. Duke says he won it. Abena says he did. Joe, what do you think? Well, I think that based on the damage, I mean, it's still pretty close because you see the bloodiness of Duke. But I don't know, man. I, I can't even pick. Sorry, Todd. Letting everybody down, but it's too close for me to call. Well, I'm looking at the strike stats, and right now it is 62 landed to 61. Who wins? We will find out when we return to Strasbourg, France. Glory Kickboxing is the most action-packed fight sport on the planet. Legal strikes are punches, kicks, and knees. Regular bouts are three rounds, championship bouts are five, and each round is three minutes of action. Outfight your opponent for 10-9. Knock them down for 
In a normal bout or tournament final, three knockdowns in one round or four in the entire bout, and the fight is over by TKO. In a tournament semi, two knockdowns in one round or three in the entire bout, and it's all over. Or you can just knock your opponent out. Sweeps, elbows, and grappling are not allowed. Clinching is okay if you follow up with a knee. Glory rules are designed to bring non-stop, fast-paced stand-up action. To find out more, go to glorykickboxing.com. Back to France as we jump into our highlights. Michael Dute rarely in a boring fight, and he wasn't tonight either. No, never. And he was a little bit more patient than we've seen, but I like that. We got to see a little bit more of his experience. Jab, move around, kick the body, but Abana kept coming forward. He did a good job at landing his power shots. You saw him sit in there, take the best from Dute. Here he landed a good uppercut where Dute came back, but you can see that power that Abana has in his hands. For only being 21 years old, that's a lot of experience behind his back, but you can see those uppercuts and hooks they were landing. But right from the start to finish, when they got into that punch range, it was just so dangerous. Anybody could have went out at any time. We had Duke with a cut under his eye, blood coming out of his nose, and still coming forward trying to get the finish. You got to wonder, Joe, if the showing of blood on Michael Duke's face, the showing of that damage, is going to give a little bit of an edge to Donnie Abana because there wasn't much of an edge as far as the strikes by round. Look at that. Identical landed in one and two, and one strikes difference in round three. Incredible stuff. Total 61 to 62. And remember, this is just one guy hitting a button yeah. watching this fight. So who knows who actually had the well, lead. I mean, 23 extra strikes for Duke. Was it the volume, the pressure, the extra strikes? We don't know, but we're going to find out soon. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout goes the distance. So we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. They score this bout 30-27 Duke. 30, 27, Abena. 29, 28, Dute. 29, 28, Abena. And our fifth and final judge, score the bout 29, 28 for your winner by split decision. Donaghy Abena! Let's hear now from the winner. Donaghy, this was about as close as it could possibly be. What did you think when it went to the judges' scorecards? Yes, I knew uh, when I was taking the victory, I was sure about it. The first round was mine, and the third round was mine. The second round... Oui, c'est ce que je pensais. Premier round, c'était sûr. Deuxième round, pas vraiment, pas certain. Mais uh, c'est bon, on l'a fini. Well, congratulations on the win. You're still the number one ranked middleweight in the world today. I know you won a world title shot, but Luis Tavares is sitting right over there in the front row. He said he wants you next. What do you think about fighting Luis Tavares? Mm, it's quite disrespectful that he mentions my name. I kicked his ass last year, May. So I don't want to hear nothing about him. Fuck it off. Hashtag, where's fuck it off? Euh, c'est un peu disrespectueux, le fait que je l'ai battu l'année dernière. Ce que je veux, c'est Varitov. Varitov, si tu le vois, ce, cet épisode, je te veux. Congratulations on the win. Everybody, one more time. Donaghy Abena. Now you can take a look at how close the fight was and how the judges scored it. You just heard Abana say he felt he round, he won rounds one and three, but round one, three of the judges gave it to Dute. Round two, three of the judges gave it to Dute. And then round three, four to the five gave it to Abana. So it was that close when it came down to the judges' scorecard. Dude actually stormed out of the ring. He felt that he did enough to get the win. Coming up later, 